John Fitzgerald Kennedy once said, it is time for a new generation of leadership to cope with new problems and new opportunities, for there is a new world to be won. This clarion call for new leadership in a new world could well apply to the critical need for a greater understanding of the scientific basis for some of the most pressing issues surrounding health and disease in women. Historically, women have not been full participants in clinical research trials, and by that I mean that there has not been, prior to the 1990s, a systematic way of including women in clinical research as subjects. And it was in 1993 that a federal law was passed requiring that studies funded by the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, which is the single largest funder of biomedical research in this country and in the world, would now have to include women as participants. The launch of the Ethel F. Donahue Women's Health Investigator Program at Yale in 1998 generated an unprecedented opportunity to advance research on the health of women and provided the groundwork for the formation of women's health research at Yale, the largest self-supporting interdisciplinary research program of its kind in the nation. It was created to ensure a national research agenda that focuses on women's health. We funded a variety of different studies in a variety of different topic areas in breast cancer and ovarian cancer and heart disease and osteoporosis and depression and domestic violence. And many of these studies have really resulted in findings that can be used now. For example, in reference to one of our studies examining the genetics of breast cancer, we now know more about the implications for women who carry certain mutations in terms of their treatment decisions if they're diagnosed with cancer and they're also positive for these particular genes. From the program's seed grants of $3.6 million awarded to date, the granted scientists have generated pilot data establishing the basis for further studies and findings that could be immediately applied. Based on data from these studies, program investigators have received more than five times the amount of our original seed grants in new external funding for their research, including many grants from the National Institutes of Health one of the tremendous advantages we have here at Yale is the incredible faculty. There are many, many people here who are extraordinary in their research efforts. And so if you take a topic like cardiovascular disease, we've brought people together from cardiology, from epidemiology, from endocrinology, from psychiatry, to study together. So we're leveraging the individual work of investigators into a larger team science that we think will make a bigger impact. Women's Health Research at Yale has provided funding for nearly 50 research projects conducted by principal investigators from over 42 departments and groups at Yale University. Furthermore, these investigators have engaged colleagues in scientific collaborations at over 40 institutions in the United States and internationally. As you know, osteoporosis is a major public health problem in this country, and it's pretty clear that diet has an important role in preserving skeletal health and yet it's been relatively understudied. It's pretty well established now that women tobacco smokers have a much more difficult time quitting smoking. And for this reason, we're trying to study where the site of action, where nicotine goes in the brain to see if this chemical site is different between men and women. We're also looking at how it's regulated across the course of the menstrual cycle. We've looked at differences in uh, depression in men and women and in particular risk factors for depression such as uh, stress. Uh, stress seems to be an important factor where men and women differ. Preeclampsia is the high blood pressure that's unique to pregnancy and the big issue with this, there are many issues, but the big issue is that there really is no cure for this disease. The only cure is delivering the baby and removing the placenta regardless of the gestational age, meaning if the woman is six months pregnant, develops the disease, often we have to deliver the baby at that point. And at that point, the baby would be very premature. Diabetes is a risk factor for heart disease in both men and women, but it seems to be an even more important risk factor for women, and the reasons for that are totally unknown. Whenever we're discussing a patient or treatment options, it's always what does the literature say? What is the new research on this topic? And as current medical students, we are very interested in gender-specific medicine, the differences between men and women, and how better to treat our patients. An equally important goal of women's health research at Yale is to communicate information derived through research to both the medical scientific community and the general public. 
Outreach efforts include community workshops and conferences, quarterly newsletters, a frequented website, and informational pamphlets. The program's outreach is designed to appeal to a wide audience, drawing participants from the healthcare sector, government agencies, researchers, and individuals from the community. It's really having the researchers from Yale uh, come here and speak to our staff in usually in-service education workshops to really help them to understand some of the new research that's going on and how it affects the care here, how it affects the disease entities such as hypertension and osteoporosis and diabetes that affect our patients. Uh, we've been uh, the administrator of, the, of New Haven Healthy Start, which is a maternal and child health program. For all the value that women's health research is contributing to the field of women's health research broadly, I don't know that we would have funded it if there weren't a strong community connection between the research program and the work that Dr. Missouri and the other researchers are doing and the issues that exist in this community and women in this community and families in this community. And we saw that connection. We see it still and it's why we really consider ourselves partners. We feel as though women's health is not delimited by a particular set of topics. It's not defined by a single set of systems. Everything that can affect women in terms of a health issue belongs under the rubric of women's health research at Yale. I first became involved with women's health research at Yale because I feel that it is a visionary and revolutionary program unlike any other in the country. I think not only does this affect my daughter, my daughter-in-law, my granddaughters, but absolutely affects my sons, my grandsons. I suffer from an autoimmune problem and any research that can help alleviate the, the problem that it is, I, it, to me, it's, words can't even describe um, what that can mean to a person in a person's life and how they live and how they function. I was surprised to find out that at this point in the 21st century we're just beginning to include women in health studies. And I really wanted to help with some of the problems that were so obvious to all of us now. You know, medical things as you get to my age become more and more important. I, I do have two older sisters, a uh, mother who passed away with some medical issues that were pretty difficult for us all to deal with. And uh, it just seemed like this was you know, my turn to uh, step up to the plate and see what I could do. The long-term sustainability of women's health research at Yale is dependent upon the continuing generosity of individuals, foundations, and corporations committed to supporting women's health research. This support is crucial as the program seeks to increase its endowment to provide a vital, ongoing stream of support to sustain our groundbreaking work. We know that women and men are different, but science hasn't always acted as though there's been a difference. And now we're looking at that difference in a real way in order to discover new information that will make a difference in people's lives. As John Fitzgerald Kennedy beseeched the nation to lead, we ask that you too, through your support, join us in leading the battle to understand the complexities of women's health. To help us take advantage of our new opportunities to win this new world. For more information on women's health research at Yale, please contact us at 203-764-6600.